Hi, it's Ellen Marie from Are You Integrated? And in tonight's session, we will be utilizing the power of positive affirmations to shift any limiting beliefs keeping you from being integrated. So stay with me. And welcome to tonight's session. I'm really excited you're here and excited to share something with you because this is really cool. So I was on Facebook, right? They're watching the reels. <clears throat> yeah, I do. I do. I get sucked into them, but not very often, but it's really great. Okay. So anyway, so an advertisement came up with one of the most famous um, uh, motivational coaches, motivational speakers, and I, he caught me. He just, you know, usually I kind of scroll through those. Um, and, but this one was really great. So what he said, he said, listen up. He said, everybody needs a coach. Find your coach. You have got limiting beliefs that you must address in order for you to reach your full potential. And these limiting beliefs are not just in your mind. They are in your soul. And so you need a coach to help find those limiting beliefs, shift those limiting beliefs and move forward. And I was like, whoa, that's awesome. So it was really cool. I was really excited, really, really excited to hear that. I had never heard that verbiage from this motivational speaker ever before. So I am excited that this, uh, this coaching, this, intuitive coaching really addresses those limiting beliefs and here's why because the real healing technique of which I am trained I am able to facilitate your subconscious mind to find the cause of your limiting beliefs we don't have to go back through all kinds of, of horrific uh, um, events in your life to find those uh, the, the causes of your limiting beliefs and it's really wonderful and it's easy to shift out of. So anyway, I hope you will partner with me and um, check out my free 30 minute consultation. And let's look at the limiting beliefs that are causing you from reaching your potential. Okay. So anyway, you'll find those in the description. So I was just really excited when that came up. And I just had to share it with you. So if I'm not your coach, find a coach, find a coach. Everybody needs a coach. So in tonight's session, we're going to be looking at being unintegrated and integrated, but we're going to look at you really having a hard time connecting to source. And I don't know if there's really an, um, it's so critical of being in a great stage of when you can connect to source. And so here's what, I'm, I'm going to put a link in. There is a, there, there's a, there's a company, it's called Heart Math Institute and they are the, they do scientific studies based on the heart's intuitive intelligence. They believe that when the heart is really in a state of expressing its intelligence that it has a different electrical reading and they have a little device that you can put it on your heart and when you are integrated or they called in a state of coherence that this little device will show you that you are um are your heart's output of electrical frequency is raised it's really quite cool. So um, then their philosophy also is that when you are connected to the int intelligence in your heart and you connect that to the, um, the intelligence in your brain, then those two work together synergistically and it brings you up to a higher thought process. And so that is called being in a state of coherence. Uh, I call it as being in a state of being integrated. 
So you will find as you research that we're all kind of talking on the same page, but I'm going to put a link to that video because it's one of my favorites. And hopefully you can connect to that if you don't already have uh, an organized faith that you believe in or that you are connected to spirit or that you have some form of connection. Maybe you don't. This is one of my favorites and this video really opened my eyes to that feeling of synergy. All right, so that will help you connect to source, hopefully. So let's utilize the power of positive affirmations in getting us integrated, meaning we're connected to a higher thought process. Um, so here we go. <clears throat> so struggling to connect to source, here's an unintegrated and an integrated thought process. Okay, spiritual things seem too confining, serious and rigid for me. A lot of people, a lot of people feel that way. Spiritual things. It's just they have, you can tell, they have had a, a previous experience with spiritual things. And therefore, they're going to carry that experience with them throughout their lives, which is going to keep them from being integrated. Okay, so here's the integrated thought process. When I increase my communication and embrace my spiritual gifts, I gain insight and wisdom that make life richer and more insightful. I see life with a wonderful new perspective and see it for the amazing journey that it is. Okay, so let me read that again. Spiritual things seem too confining, serious, and rigid for me. When I increase, that, I'm sorry, that was the unintegrated. Now here's the integrated. When I increase my spiritual communication, embrace my spiritual gifts, I gain insight and wisdom that make life richer and more insightful. I see life with a wonderful new perspective and I see it for the amazing journey that it is. Not everybody has that perspective. And so being integrated gives you a different perspective of this life's journey. And it's a wonderful perspective. It's a different, you will find life more meaningful, more richer. You will find that you have gifts. You know, I think about musicians like Whitney Houston um, and Prince and, um, and um, Olivia Newton-John, you know, all of those people that shared their gifts with us and how wonderful it made us feel. So we have spiritual gifts that we're meant to share. And so do you, do you recognize limiting beliefs around being unintegrated? And you may have experienced that same philosophy. You might have that same mindset and you struggle to connect to source. And um, so, so what can we do? How can we utilize affirmations? Why do we utilize affirmations? Affirmations really uh, help feed your brain new information. So affirmations in this one, you have to have affirmations that you actually believe because this could be such a deeply rooted thought process that it's going to take some pretty powerful affirmations to really unwind those deeply instilled limiting beliefs that are hidden in your subconscious mind. And these may be just really general for you. Uh, they may not hit why you're having a hard time connecting to a source, but it's a place to start. It is definitely a place to start. So let's look at the limiting beliefs. So the experience, um, that has caused these limiting beliefs have, have led, left you feeling disheartened, weary, held down, and depressing. Just It's just all depressing. And those are limiting beliefs because it's keeping you from really embracing your spiritual gifts. Okay, so here are the affirmations, all right? I feel more alive and radiant when I take time to connect with Source. 
And I can tell you, just when I speak my affirmations in the morning and I read something like this, I just, you feel it. it you know, J-Lo calls it, oh, I'm getting goosies, right? When you get goosies, you're connecting to source. You're speaking a truth for you. It resonates with you and you just feel great, okay? I make connecting with source fun and exciting. I easily gain, gain clarity on my intentions for the day. I embrace new ideas and different perspectives. I, I am ready for a new day of exciting possibilities. Okay, I'll read those again real quick. I feel more alive and radiant when I take time to connect with Source. I make connecting with Source fun and exciting. I easily gain clarity on my intentions for the day. I embrace new ideas and different perspectives. I am ready for a new day of exciting possibilities. All right. And remember, the goal is to read them three to five times a day, at least for 10 and even up to 21 days, especially if they're, if you're really trying to unwind those deep instilled limiting beliefs that are reside in your subconscious mind. And so you know that you will, like, when you walk out the door in the morning, and turn around and come back in because the thought came to you that I didn't connect to Source yet. I can't start my day. I need to go connect with Source. I need to get tuned in. I need to, um, I just need to be on the right frequency. So um, that's when those affirmations, speaking those affirmations, reading those affirmations, utilizing those affirmations, it really help to change. Now, the, this is a deep subject. These belief systems are deeper if you're really struggling to connect to source. And I'd really love for you to sign up for my free 30-minute consultation. And let me show you how we access um, your subconscious mind through the real healing technique and find out what's causing these limiting beliefs. Because when we find the cause, and we rework it and refile it back in your subconscious mind, those limiting beliefs tend to dissipate and they don't, you don't get triggered anymore. Uh, and it's really wonderful. So anyway, I would love to work with you. Um, I'd love to be your coach and help you achieve all your life's potential and your happiness and fulfillment. So thank you so much for joining me tonight, and I hope you will take the opportunity to utilize the power of affirmations in your life to shift your limiting beliefs that are keeping you from being integrated. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.